Welcome back, one and all, to Persona 5. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we did some stuff in Mementos. Uh, and what's Yusuke up to? Yeah, let's hang out with the Ark Boy. Hmm. By the way, and I came to hang out with you. <laughs> Go somewhere fun. Yes. Planetarium. Don't get a. Oh, wait, no. I don't have any money. Shit. I just remembered I don't have any money. I see. Hmm. By the way. Yeah, I just remembered I don't have any money, so... <laughs> Little embarrassing. Shall we return home? Ah, you're back. Go hang out with Mr. Criminal Man. <laughs> yes, I'm here to shop. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any treasure. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. I need to clean all that. You look serious today. Like best. You should be grateful. Yeah, and all that needs to be sold. Uh, come again. Or cleaned first. What's up? Let's hang out. Good. Needs to drop off his son. See ya. Okay, it's Futaba. I'm we can do things with Futaba. Not creepy things, people. Get a grip. Good luck. This two, this mouse is so big—a two-handed mouse. It's ridiculous. The keyboard is too curvy. How would the keystrokes even work? Self-built PC. I've never built my own computer. I've never been interested in it. I wouldn't mind really? building a PC. But I don't really have the money for that. That's... Hey, hey. Uh, I can't. I got things to do. Uh... Now I can do other things. 
Yeah, I still I have my evening still. Ah, you're back. And yeah, it's just deadline stuff. Thirsty for information. Let's go right now. Out. Then take a seat. I don't have anything. The roses are for Takamaki. That's just how that is. And back to school. No oh, somber music. Okay. Okay, he is all right for now. I'm a bit worried about him. So exams, uh I just remembered. Ten million yen. Advertising. Psychology. Are you familiar with the psychological test using these images? Kiki. Seraph something. Nah, I don't know, neither look like Kiki. I don't even know what that means. That wasn't even a wrong answer, it's psychological, it's how you see it, you frickin' morons. And that A is often used to market sales because it's sharp and eye-catching, usually in red. Okay. She likes gardening. That's nice. Nothing wrong with a bit of gardening, if that's what you're into. You're the one who grew these, senpai. <laughs> you can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? That's... Don't, don't even joke about that. Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Huh, <laughs> funny. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the Snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. Uh, of course it'd be Yusuke. Same thing. That's not like gonna that. make a difference. Thank you, Takamaki. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. 
How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Yeah, that's a good point. Well then, how about a night party? At Destinyland. I don't know what that is. By Destinyland, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? I think it's essentially Disneyland. It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. Yep. The entire park? You're talking about the Destiny Land, right? Ah, the power of capitalism. Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. What the heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work! We're really gonna have it at Destinyland? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? I guess so. Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we canceled the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Oh, so it's on your father's dime. Awesome! Make an asshole pay for it. Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? Not really. It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this. We'll just celebrate twice as hard today. I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, yeah, how much does it cost? A lot. For real? Renting an amusement park has got to be expensive. Hmm, that was delicious. Yeah, it's Disneyland. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. Of course, you would be saying things like that. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with the view. The VIP life is incredible! And I really doubt the, associates, the employees even care. It's like, I'm getting paid to do this anyway. What do I care who it's for? Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Off with his head! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's not as beautiful as you. Oh, that's adorable! I didn't notice that... I didn't notice the hairband she was wearing. That is adorable. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? Oh my gosh, she's flirting with Yusuke. <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. <laughs> Am I breaking the dude code with... all the time I'm spending with Tsukamaki? I mean, and Morgana's literally in the bag with me, so... Is this a violation of the bro code? Uh, you say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. Uh-huh, sure. I did not. I believe you. You said something like that. Don't fight in those. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Fair enough. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. 
Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. I'm not fun for luxury like that. Nothing wrong with a good amount of humility. This will really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? Yes. That party will be for me! Still, how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? Knock on wood. It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. Knocking on wood! I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Father. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. Oh, I've been eating there a lot, like yuck. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes, I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Wait, his shadow was killed. How is he not having a mental... How is he still alive? Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. Or someone's going to kill him before he can. I... Kumaro san? Have fun with the nightmares! <laughs> I'm sorry, just a happy puppy image after that. That was funny. I don't care who you are. Huh? F father Why did he collapse? Somebody killed him. That didn't look right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Mona-chan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. We did everything the same. What happened? I want to know that myself. We made sure we just took the treasure, too. <sighs> I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? No. It's been okay all four times so far. Ever since Kamoshida. If we let the shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown. Right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is... the same. I remember now. It's just like... what happened to my mom? Oh, memories, no! 
So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today, I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? <laughs> that. <coughs> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. He thinks the Phantom Thieves are all about ego and image. And if Akumara couldn't put everything out there to bolster fame for the Phantom Thieves, they wouldn't have done something like this. I see where he's getting at. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up. But I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai son. I apologize. Then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. Sure you will. Actually, you kind of did. Oh, he's dead? Should have been okay. It should have been. He says it should have been. Yeah. in this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5 as I process what just happened. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.